Hi and welcome to this week's video. So this week I'm showing you how to install the F1 Manager 24 mod which updates the game to 25 data so all the latest drive changes all comes into effect. This is not my mod, this is just a, an amazing mod that a few modders have created and all the links in the description to how to download and where to download. So first off we need to download the file so we just click on the download button in the corner you may need to set up an account if you've not been on this before, but it is free to do that. And you get this zip folder, so we can open up and we can have a quick look at all the files that are in there. So I'm going to show you in a bit how to transfer them across. So I'm just going back to my Steam Deck, that's how I'm, where I'm going to install it. So like a lot of people, I got this free with Epic Games. So I'll show you where to find all the relevant files. So this is the first time I've actually loaded the game, I've never actually played it properly. So I'm just going to quickly load it and then we'll load it through and just show you that it's got the old driver data on there. So I just need to agree to a few things and then I'm just going to click on a new game and quickly fast forward all this bit. So this is all the different teams obviously. I'm going to have to go with Ferrari because it's going to be the easiest one to show the difference in drivers straight off. As in we have Lewis Hamilton on the new version. So this is the older version that is just loading up now. We just click everything through that we can see and then as you can see at the top We've got the older drivers, this needs a little bit of an update. So we just X out of the game. So what we needed to do is follow this path. So this is the download file that I've included by attaching through USB. So we just need to find the pack data. Then we need to open a new tab, go to the home button, select games. Then we've got heroic. And then if you just follow what I'm doing on screen, you're ready to log your way through. And then you'll be able to find the pack folder. Then we just go, go back across. And now we just need to copy all of these pack files. So we just need to right click on it. And then I'll copy them. And then we'll go back to the F1 manager data for the game. And then we'll paste them in here. So I'd already done this. It didn't record. So that's why it's asking me to overwrite. But the first time you do it, you shouldn't have to overwrite anything because it's all new files. So I'll give it a couple of seconds, it doesn't take long, and then that's it, that's copied across. So then if we go back to F1 Manager now and we start a new game. You'll see that it's still all the old data, because what we need to do is we need to create a new save file. So start up whatever team you want to go as, pop in all your details and as you can see we've still got the old data so you just need to save it so we have a save file and then once we have a save file we can X out. So then we need to open this in the browser so the link for this is in the description. This is going to mod our save file. So again, what you need to do is in this search bar, tap in app data, and then this is where save files are saved. Now, luckily, this was, there's a few different folders, but this is going with the latest one because it's the, when I've just done a save. So you just follow what I'm doing here. Find the game that we need, and then you can find your saved data. Once the decides to open the right, Direct file and then there's the save data file there. So the idea is we need to open that folder and then we just drag that save data file into the opened website. You should be able to just drag it across and then it'll go in there and then number one will go to a tick. Now for some reason it wasn't working so I ended up having to do it onto a PC so I had to save the save file onto my USB I then went onto a PC and then when I drag it across it goes in and then it takes it straight away. You just then click on F1 Manager at the top 
and then this is where it gives you all the options. It wasn't doing this on the Steam Deck for some reason. I don't know if it was my issue or if it's a generic issue. So it might work for you. So if it does, you just then tick on all the boxes that you want to make adjustments. So this is what all the updates are going to be. So extra drivers, driver lineup, staff, performance, etc. So you can pick and choose what you want to update. You don't have to add them all if you don't want to. So I'm just clicking apply on everything there. And then once you're finally happy, you just need to click on this render button at the top next to F1 Manager. And then this is going to create a new save file. There's our new save file. So we just need to drag it across to my USB so I can transfer it back across. So it's the same file name. So I'm going to replace it because I don't need the old one anymore. So now SD card back in. And then I just need to open up the SD card to find that save file. And then I'm just going to have to drag that save file back into the folder, the app data folder that we opened before. So I copied them all across because I wasn't sure which one it was. So I just copy the one that was modded and then click overwrite. As I said, it's got the same name. Overwrite it and then that's that. And then we'll load up the game once more. And then once the game's loaded, you just need to click on load once again. Make sure you select the right file that's been modded. So we'll click on this bottom one. Then we click OK. And then we'll just wait for it to do its thing. And then straight away we can see there's Lewis Hamilton in his Ferrari outfit. So we've got the mod fully working. So we'll just click through a few little features. We'll have a little scroll down, look at some of the different teams. See if we can make any notice any changes. There's Williams, Mercedes, Perez out of a job. And that's it, that's the mod complete. So, as I said, all the details for the mod are in the description. So it's worth going on there to keep track of any updates or any issues that you may have. They've also got a Discord that you can join to have a little bit of a conversation on there. So hopefully it'll all work fine. And we've got the nice new F1 Manager 2025, as it looks unlikely to be getting a new version coming out officially. So thanks very much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.